I hereby summon all my imps. Hey everybody, it's Annabelle. So this past Tuesday, I picked up Spider-Man 2099 in my roulette cash. And basically, I kind of wanted to try it out. And with the spotlight cash is changing to Monday, I'm going to open up spotlight caches on Monday now, and going to get try out whatever card I get in the spotlight cache on Tuesday, in case maybe somebody else out there got that same card. So this week I got Spider-Man 2099, made a simple deck to run them in. Wanted to try it out, wanted to show you why, how he might work, or some places he could be useful in. If for some reason somebody out there wants me to try a deck that is interesting or wants to punish me or challenge me with a deck they think is hard to play, you can send me that deck and if I get someone that I like, I might put it into a new segment going forward. Well, let's take a look at the deck I basically came up with. It's a basic move deck. Let me just get myself off the screen for just a second. So we've got some of the most, in, the, mo the normal move cards, the Iron Fist, the Doctor Strange, the Vulture, Kingpin, Hulk, Polaris, Spider-Man, the Miles Morales version of Spider-Man, and Spider-Man 2099, and Arrow. And then to kind of take away from some of the big swinginess that's happening with uh, Hitmonkey and uh, Kitty Pride. And also Bloodstone, I am running a Valkyrie and an uh, Ant-Man. The whole idea is that you play down the Ant-Man on turn 6 and then do the Valkyrie. And that should win you the lane. Right, let's go and try this out a little bit. Oh, let's change how this deck looks a little bit first, though. Let me... Get a picture up here. That's a Spider-Man-ish picture, so that will work. We get a card back to this, that's a Spider-Man-ish card back. Let me put up my title, the same title I always use, which is I am streaming this live. Which I am doing. Eh, come on. There we go. And let's just name this. Spider-Man 2099. Alright, let's get it locked in the chamber. And let's go play for fun. Let's set up for the Spider-Man 2099. Let's go and 
we can save the true Spider-Man for last turn. We can do true Spider-Man and Polaris. So that's our turn five. The whole cluster here is set up for the Ant-Man over here. Enough said, Bug. Then we're going to put the flowers in the hair. We're going to put Spider-Man over on the third location. It seems the Spider-Man can pull something into the Kingpin line. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. I might move out the Spider-Man for the club. We can set up for an iron fist. But we want to wait on that. And may as well help us out a ton. Uh, we can do Doctor Strange on his own. Avengers! Assemble. Parker! Set up for the miles here. Okay, how do you work? First time it means. Let's try to punch our Spider Man. Let's kill that one. Not work the way I wanted it to. I think that's the problem with Spider Man 2099 is you really don't have a choice as to where it goes. That makes it better for us. Do that in that. Forever. Okay, we need to 
bought that friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. That's almost very very random. Let's see if I can make it less random. Let me go back to the collection here. Probably Spider-Man's too random as to where I put something. But we can set that up better. Then I can set where the Spider-Man 29 goes to kill something. So this becomes almost a trap card. Let's try it out a bit, see how that runs. Hey, son, okay. Still bad. Okay. I can set up Oh there I am. Okay, set up the iron fist. And do the quick iron fist double. The artifice jungle. Artifice is just gonna punch over himself. Be able to do the miles. Sort of burn ultra play. Okay, we can set the cloak. We can set the spider man. We can move over the vulture to get that more power. Move over the spider man. Hmm. Who is revealing first? They're revealing first. Okay, let's actually leave. Move over the spider man so we can get some power over there. They're revealing first so we can set up the balcony for the wind in the middle. And I can move over the other Spider-Man for the extra power. And snap and see where the focus. Snap. Okay, the armor. Makes sense. 
Oh, because of the stupid blue cage. I got Luke Cage who messes with Valkyrie. Make a mouth mouse small. You can punch the vulture. Punch the vulture. Spider-Man can go down. Get limbo? Do we want limbo or do we want no. Let's go here for the limbo. Let's go. Doctor Strange to move over the vulture. Reviewing first. I want to this. Hmm. Okay, let's move the Spider Man over here so we can pull off something there. Let's move over the vulture, that should win us that. If they leave over anything here, the Valkyrie should take care of that. Oh, hang on. Let's change that around. Do Ant Man over in the first location, Valkyrie in the third, and maybe we can try it time third here. The middle watch okay. You did kill something there. Nice. Little girl. We won, but only by one point. Ugh.
That's good, that's fine with me. the miles here. Kingston down on their location. Walk down and I'm lost. Walk the turn into Katie Prime. Stagron. Stagron which takes over a quicksilver. They get a Stagron, I get a quicksilver because that's a fair trade. Let's do the Miles Morales in the third location. Let's try to over on one drop to the third location. Let's punch over a vulture. Revealing first. I'm revealing first, though. Ah, oh, that's what makes this horrible. Can't do anything with the kingpin. The kingpin's all locked up. 
Valkyrie doesn't help me out because I'm revealing first. They've got the kitty, I know they've got the kitty. Best hope is the arrow, and the arrow doesn't help me out because of how the kitty plays. How does this work? Now they fill them some kitchen time with. I'm gonna play the clock. Trying to push him on the gamma lab. Third, up the two pens for the raft, I guess. Spider-Man and the uh, Doctor Strange pulls one of the hulks. That should fill the raft. Buster on one of the hopes. <laughs> and then we should be able to do Polaris over here and a Vulture in the mid. Mindstone. We can set up for the vulture here. Vulture comes down and gets punched over. Face down, no longer. Okay. We can 
do Spider-Man here. And do the Ant-Man. Buster on the vulture. I am inevitable. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. It worked. Well, because they played Doc Oxwell. I think. I'd have to look for that. I'll check the tape in a little bit. Okay. Ant-Man, Ant-Man. Okay. Hulkbuster, then. Hey, life changing. How's it going? Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and third locations. New season of what? The new season of Marvel Snap started on Tuesday. Go for an arrow to try to get something on the cloning bat. And an iron fist. 
Oh, I'm excited like, for a lot of the cards. There's a lot of stuff in this particular month that I'm looking forward to. Uh, Werewolf by Night looks interesting. So, uh, Werewolf by Night looks interesting. Um, Man Thing, I think, could be way stronger than it than it's giving out credit for. What about you? Yeah, it's an old combo, but it works. Trying to make, I'm trying to make Spider-Man 2099 work, and it's having a lot of issues. Ten for three. And then four. With a Hulkbuster combo. Yeah, that's an older deck that I have somewhere in here. You really need the Phoenix Force for it, though. Odd, odd, odd. I can set up the Spider Man. How does this work? How does this work? How does this work? How does this work? Should set, but then it'll lose, but then I'll have one more. I gotta do the Valkyries first, and I gotta put the Iron Fist by himself. I don't have this spider. Oh, where did I mess up? Is it because of the three extra? Yeah, it's because of the three extra. Okay. Well, the problem is, is that Spider-Man 2099 shouldn't require so many cards to make him work. You look at Spider-Man 2099, he should either be a little bit less pricey, or he should be able to move by himself. It's a two card combo, and I think it's one of the only cards in all of Marvel Snap that actually requires two cards to make it work. As I know, every other card in Marvel just works on its own. I 
another main game for Ghost Rider. Thank you, I think. Are you talking about the last game I played before this on Wacky Wednesday? Is that the one you're talking about, Dark Pool? Oh, that was that was Wacky Wednesday. I was playing into the location. Thank you for watching it. I make lots of interesting fun decks. Open the mid. Set up for the pig. Yeah, the Elsa decks, there's an Elsa deck out there. There's a lot of Elsa decks out there right now that are running. That are running some version of the um, yellow jacket combo. The yellow jacket combo. Problem is that the Valkyrie keeps going second. That might be okay here. Let's see. Nice. I'll take that as a victory. Thumbs up. But I'm glad you enjoyed watching my games. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to make Spider-Man 2099 work today. Without having some of the normal cards that you would think of being in the deck. Like I don't have Ghost Spider, I don't have I don't have Sulk in here. Oh, you want to redeem the bonk? Hang on, let me get you the bonk in here. Oh, that's not bonk. Uh, that's hot. There's bonk. There's your bonk. I'll give you two. There you go, life changing game. There's your bonk. Or is interesting, okay. Uh, let's go. Can I do this in the correct order? Maybe. Vulture set up. Iron Fist? I can set that up better. Oh, Iron Fist in the middle, then punch the Hulk Buster. That should do it. There it goes. Then on five... I can set up for the Doctor Strange and the Cloak here. Get to play Juggle with the Vulture for a bit. Okay. 
Walter break the back and the cloak lets me set it up for the watch to move over next turn. We'll vulture over. I got enough. He's reviewing first. I'm reviewing first. Okay. So if I'm reviewing first, I can do Kingpin Polaris in mid. Let's see where that puts me. Okay, I'll take those four cubes. Thumbs up. I set up the ant just in case. Arsonists aren't interesting. I can do something stupid. Let's do something stupid. One of my vultures. Let's set up a cloak here since they think I can't play anything on their last turn. last turn, I can move over two vultures. Who's revealing first? They're revealing first, okay. So since they're revealing first, I can do a arrow, and then I can fill up the last locations with iron fists. She won the mid. So the better rules would have been possibly playing 
what a time we have. Dimension that will be interesting. So let's throw some rocks in there. Let's hold for a second here. Let's set up the Valkyrie so we can win the mid. We can play the vulture. Gosh. I must have the iron fist. Iron fist doesn't work if the other location's full. I thought it would kick it over to the first location for some odd and underscore warnings in the
Oh, Buster. And Min. Spider-Man. After Strange Polaris? Oh, the and it didn't even work because it killed the uh, Spider-Man before the Spider-Man went off. Wow. It needs either a better way to trigger it itself, like it moves next turn. It needs more support, it needs more stuff that can trigger it. But it basically needs to trigger itself, because I think it's the only card that doesn't trigger itself. I need to move down one, even if it lost a bit of power, so you can play it on turn four. This is the best setup I have for it. I mean, this is a weird setup. I don't want it to be there.
he's a very first time of doing first. Can't sit up there. Um. Yep, the Polaris. And, and Doctor Strange in the mid, and that's the best move I have. So I think that's basically what needs to happen. It, it needs to come down one. You can play it a little earlier. It needs somehow to trigger itself or it needs some more movement help. But the problem with movement help is it's all going to end up being in the new stuff. It's so hard to trigger that. Let me go and look at the collection now, so I can see what will make it, if it starts. We got Heimdall that can help trigger it. Heimdall's about it. And Spider-Man, Spider but Spider-Man Spider is so random, it doesn't help. Even if I go to Unowned, we add Ghost Spider and that's it. So you've got Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Hulk, Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, and Doctor Strange. One, two, three, four. Four cards that make that work, and that's it. Five if you count Spider Man, but that's that's so random. But Spider-Man doesn't move the... That doesn't move the Spider-Man 2099, so that doesn't actually work. So you're down to 1, 2... 1, 2, 3, 4. There's only 4 cards in all of Marvel Snap that make that work. That's so weird to have a card that only 4 cards make work. It almost needs to move on its own. If it almost had a Nightcrawler ability, would that be too broken? If it had a Nightcrawler ability, or could just move on its own. You'd have to lower down its power then. Bring it down to like a 4 or 2 for the destroy. Still a lot to set up. This is weird. It needs some way to move on its own, or it needs to come down. Three would make it better to play, because on four, the first time you're basically playing it is on five. And there's no really good way to set it on six. The best way to set it on 6 would be Spider-Man Ghost Spider. So, it needs some work. Alright, so if you have some weird, strange, wacky, wild deck you want me to play, you can send it to me, and if I like it, I'll throw it up and play it. Other than that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for coming, ghoul. And thanks for coming watch changing video games.
Remember, lay, oh, a foreigner.